Tensions between America and China are set to peak over the South China Sea. Two Arley Burke class destroyers, the USS William P. Lawrence and the USS Statham, conducted a freedom of navigation operation on the 29th of April. They sailed through the Taiwan Strait. The U.S. Pacific Fleet said in a statement, the ship's transit through the Taiwan Strait demonstrates the U.S. commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific. China claims almost all of South China Sea and is trying to establish de facto control of the waters. It wants all ships and aircraft navigating in the area to identify itself to the Chinese Navy. Vietnam, the Philippines, Malaysia, Brunei and Taiwan also have claims over these waters, but China has outmuscled them and set up military infrastructure in the many islands like the Spratly Islands. The South China Sea is significant as about $5 trillion in trade and almost 50% of the world's oil shipment passes through it each year. The waters are also thought to have 11 billion barrels of untapped oil and 190 trillion cubic feet of natural gas. Countries like the US, Japan and India have no claims in the area and want freedom of navigation as per international maritime laws. Viewers may note that the US conducts freedom of navigation regularly. As for the relation with Taiwan, the United States has no formal ties with it but is bound by law to help defend the island nation. The Pentagon has reported that America has sold Taiwan more than 15 billion US dollars, that's 11.6 billion pounds, in weaponry since 2010. China has been trying to assert its sovereignty over the island nation. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes why China did nothing as USS William P. Lawrence and USS Statham sailed through Taiwan Strait in the South China Sea. Let's get into the details. This video is sponsored by War Thunder. If you are, like us, fascinated by military vehicles and technology, I recommend you give War Thunder a try. It's a military vehicle combat game which you can download and play for free on PC, PlayStation 4 and Xbox One with cross-platform support. It has a huge variety of more than 1,200 playable aircraft, tanks, helicopters and ships from the 1930s to the 1990s, which you can take to battle on land, in the air and at sea on more than 80 theaters of war. War Thunder has been kind enough to offer All Defense Updates viewers a special bonus, which will grant you a free premium tank or aircraft and three days of premium account time for registering using our link in the description below. So take the plunge and join more than 20 million players from around the world. USS William P. Lawrence DDG-110, and the USS Statham DDG-63 are Arleigh Burke class guided missile destroyers of the US Navy. Arleigh Burke class warships were designed as multi-mission destroyers capable of anti-aircraft warfare AAW, anti-submarine warfare ASW, and anti-surface warfare ASUW. The class is named for Admiral Arleigh Burke who was an American destroyer officer in World War II and went to be Chief of Naval Operations. US Navy has 66 Arleigh Burke class warships in active service. USS William P. Lawrence was named after Vice Admiral William P. Lawrence. It was built by Northrop Grumman Shipbuilding and was commissioned on the 4th of June 2011. USS Statham was named after Steelworker 2nd Class Robert Statham. It was built by Ingalls Shipbuilding and was commissioned on the 21st of October 1995. USS William P. Lawrence and USS Statham, being an Arleigh Burke class destroyer, is among the largest destroyers built in the United States. Both have an overall length of 509 feet, that's 155 meters, and displacement of about 9,200 tons. USS William P. Lawrence and USS Statham are powered by four General Electric LM2530 gas turbines producing 100,000 horsepower that's 75 megawatt, that drive two shafts. They have a speed of 30 plus knots that's 55 kilometers per hour and a range of 4,400 nautical miles or 8,100 kilometers. The Arleigh Burke class of guided missile destroyers DDGs, is the United States Navy's first class of destroyers built around the Aegis combat system. The Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense System is the United States Department of Defense Missile Defense Agency program, developed to provide missile defense against short to intermediate range ballistic missiles. 
Aegis BMD is designed to intercept ballistic missiles post boost phase and prior to re-entry. It enables USS William P. Lawrence and USS Statham to shoot down enemy ballistic missiles by expanding the Aegis combat system with the addition of the AnSpy-1 radar and standard missile technologies. Aegis BMD equipped vessels can transmit their target detection information to other systems and if needed engage potential threats using either the SM-2 or SM-3 missile. SM-3 missile having a range of 2500 kilometers and a speed of Mach 10.2 is especially suited for this task. The heart of the Aegis systems on board the USS William P. Lawrence and USS Statham is the AnSpy-1 radar. It's an advanced, automatic detect-and-track, multifunctional phased array radar. The high-powered 4-megawatt radar is able to perform search track and missile guidance functions simultaneously with a capability of over 100 targets. A conventional mechanically rotating radar sees a target when the radar beam strikes that target once during each 360 degree rotation of the antenna. A separate tracking radar is then required to engage each target. By contrast, the computer-controlled ANSPY-1D phased array radar of the Aegis system brings these functions together within one system. The phased array can concentrate energy where it's needed. The operator can boost the range and resolution in a particular direction without blinding the ship from threats from another side. The four fixed arrays of SPY send out beams of electromagnetic energy in all directions simultaneously, continually providing a search and tracking capability for hundreds of targets at the same time. USS William P. Lawrence and USS Statham are very well equipped and are designed to be multi-weapons platforms and carry a lethal array of sophisticated weaponry. Each has a total of 96 Mark 41 Vertical Launch System VLS, divided into two blocks of 32 and 64 cells. These can be configured with the combination of the following weapons based on the mission. One, BGM-109 Tomahawk Cruise Missile for Land Attack. 2. RIM-66 Standard Missile 2 SM-2, Surface-to-Air Missile for Air Defense 3. RIM-161 Standard Missile 3 SM-3 for Aegis Ballistic Missile Defense 4. RIM-174 Standard ERAM Standard Missile 6 SM-6, which is a multi-role missile that can intercept incoming anti-ship missiles, act as ballistic missile defense, and also function as a high-speed anti-ship missile. Each also has two Mark 141 Harpoon missile launchers for anti-ship roll. Two Mark 32 triple torpedo tubes are present launching Mark 46 or Mark 50 torpedoes. Two MH-60R Seahawk Lamps 3 helicopters are also present for anti-submarine warfare. Other than these, they are equipped with a long-range 5-inch naval gun. There are multiple short-range weapon systems which include the Phalanx CIWS and M242 Bushmaster Cannon. The combined weapons package is enough to take a heavy toll on the Chinese military if it initiates any misadventure. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.